Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because it's something that I've wanted to try for, I mean years before it even existed, but now months since I've seen it coming out in the States and it's finally in Canada, and that is Vegan KD. I am so excited about this, you don't even know. KD is something that I grew up with, something that's super nostalgic, and I've tried many a box vegan mac, mac and cheese. I actually have several in my cupboard right now. The Annie's vegan mac is actually really good. In Canada, we have a grocery store called Save on Foods and they have one of their own brands is called Only Goodness and they do a macaroni and vegan cheese. And this one is actually really, really good as well. Now we have the official, the OG KD and this is the one they've partnered with not cheese to make a vegan option so this is i bought the original and i've also got the white cheddar flavor to taste us today so i'm super excited and i can't wait any longer so i'm just gonna start cooking it plant-based KD, can you believe that this is actually real i'm so excited It says to cook the pasta for seven to eight minutes, but I don't really trust it. <laughs> a lot of these vegan mac and cheeses, or well, just box mac and cheese in general, I find that they overestimate how much you should cook the pasta for. So I'm gonna say, let's cook it for three minutes and check that. And I just opened up the box of the white cheddar flavor and it's shells instead of macaroni. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> It's been three minutes, so let's test it out. Okay, yeah, that's like pretty much done. Maybe another 30 seconds. I wouldn't cook this any longer than three to four minutes. Seven to eight minutes is gonna be way too soft. I don't know what they're thinking over there, but I would not recommend cooking it for that long. I'm going to add a little spoonful of vegan butter. I use the vegan basil margarine. It says on the box to add specifically four tablespoons of plant-based butter and a quarter cup of plant-based milk. I never follow the instructions exactly. I just eyeball it and it's always worked pretty well for me. So I'm gonna do the same. All right, that's how I would cook my mac and cheese regularly. So just a little pat of butter. And I always wait until the butter is completely melted before I add my oat milk. I'm gonna add a little splash of oat milk. And I got too excited when I was opening up the boxes, so I actually don't know which uh, powder is which, so I'm gonna have to open them and find out. Okay, this one I would assume is the white cheddar. Okay, yeah, definitely this one looks a bit more orange, so I'm gonna assume this is the original uh, and go for that. Okay, so here's our finished KD. We've got our original over here and if I'm honest, it looks exactly like traditional KD. So very excited to try this. And then we've got our white cheddar variety, which is in shell pasta form. They both look really good and I am starving. So let's just do the taste test. Why don't we? Gotta try the original first, don't we? So it looks like KD, it smells like KD. Does it taste like KD? That's the question we're here to answer today. Oh my gosh. Yep, it tastes like KD, I can confirm. I feel like some vegan mac and cheese, like box mac and cheese, is a little bit like grainy or like not quite a cheesy flavor. Like this is very cheesy. And it's like the nice, saucy, um, cheesy, nostalgic flavor that you're looking for with a box mac and cheese. Yeah, five out of five recommend that one. I feel like I can't accurately taste test KD without putting some ketchup on it. <laughs> I know this is controversial, but I love some mac and cheese with ketchup on it. Like honestly, Canadians, I mean, Americans too. I don't know if this is a thing in, <laughs> in the US, but name a more iconic duo than KD and Heinz tomato ketchup. I'm waiting. Now that I've tasted it on its own, for the purest so there, I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup 
And if I'm honest, this is a real taste test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you like your mac and cheese with a bit of ketchup on it. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. Now that takes me back. That's the nostalgic KD flavor that I'm looking for. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Six out of five, seven out of five. Perfection. <laughs> now, white cheddar. I can't say I've had like a white cheddar mac and cheese that I absolutely loved before, so I'm not really sure what to expect with this one, but. This one is also pretty good. I feel like I find white cheddar flavored things have like a bit of a strange, almost sour aftertaste. Mm. But it's still nice and creamy. Um, definitely tastes cheesy. Maybe I'd give this like a three out of five. The original is like the way to go in my opinion. And my partner just tried it and he's not usually a fan of boxed mac and cheese. He didn't really like grow up with it. Um, so it's not like as nostalgic, I guess, for him. Um, but he said that this is his favorite out of all the ones we've tried so far. I showed you before, but these are the other two that I have in my cupboard right now. Definitely think that these are solid four out of five, but I would actually like pick the KD, I think next time. Like also this one it's worth noting, the Andy's mac and cheese is about like four or five dollars Canadian, unless you find it on sale. And then this one is usually like three to four dollars. Um, and this one I found at Walmart for about like two ninety five. So I think I'll just double check and put it up on screen. But I'm pretty sure that this was actually the cheapest and the tastiest. So I would recommend trying this out if you are a connoisseur of boxed vegan mac and cheese or even just a connoisseur of boxed mac and cheese, because honestly, this is super tasty and cheesy and gives you all of those like nostalgic flavors that you're that you're craving without the animal products and without uh, harming any animals so it's a win-win for everybody honestly i'm completely honest sadly i don't think i personally would get this white cheddar one again it wasn't my favorite i'm just like not really a white cheddar kind of gal i guess my partner did really enjoy this one as well so i guess it depends on your personal taste if you like white cheddar then you'd probably like this let me know down in the comments which one of these that you would try let me know if you've already tried the vegan kb what you thought of it make sure to give this video a thumbs up i hope it inspired you to try some vegan mac and cheese make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you very soon in my next video thanks for watching bye